Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today, I want to do the review of the Rocket Kane 120 gaming mouse. So let's get right to it. Um, first things first, I would say this mouse build quality is one is the best. The left click and right click, I think they're awesome. Uh, I don't have no really negative things about it, about the quality or the switches of this mouse. But there are a few things that I am going to bring it out there to bring you guys some attention is that the software sometimes not all the times crashes but then again you know it rarely happens now to this point I reinstalled the drivers I mean reinstall the software to see that work and so far so good it kind of eliminates the problem so basically I'm gonna have to wait till Rock Hat comes out with you know wait till Rock Hat comes out with drivers and I think it really should have more features in there as well I really do want to see that, but I am. It's gonna the second part of this video is gonna, we're gonna talk about the software, and the first part we're really gonna talk about about this mouse. Again, the left click, and right click are tiny switches that are ready for 50 million clicks, which is awesome. The sensor uses is the Pixar 3381, which is the DPI range is 400 to 16k, and increments of 50. That is nice as well. Uh, the materials on this is really awesome. Like Rock Hat really did, uh, they really want to make sure that this mouse is lasts for a long time. Um, the feet, I really don't know what feet they use. I think they don't use the PTE feet. Uh, I think the feet, it's all right, unless the only way you can go hyperglide. I think the feet will be way much more better. But I'm the type of person, like, you know, if I would like to see if, you know, the mouse with the stock feet will do good as well but again i think by changing the feet will make me a little bit more happy about this mouse um another thing as well is 89 grams now rock hat already announced that they're going to come out with the pure ultra which that one i was like in shock that i think but they were a little bit too late on that already of the lightweight mouse already which they already already are ready um, is that I really wish they would apply that to this mouse as well is that you know They designed the inside of it with the plastic with the holes to make the mouse lighter and then cover this up with their um, with the regular um, Mouse sh shell like, like this like it'll be light so I imagine they will apply that idea What they did with the comb pure ultra to this and it'll be way much a little lighter uh, If I am going to keep this mouse, I'm going to be honest with you no, I am not going to keep this mouse because, you know, there are other mouses that have already piqued my interest that I do want to get, and I can get my money back and go with something else. And, of course, if you guys not been living under the rock, you already know that Glorious is going to come out with the Model D, which that got me excited. I'm really excited for that one. And, of course, I really want to try the Sensei 10 as well. Which that was, used to be my my first sense. It used to be, but that was my first review video I did way back then. So I am not going to keep that mouse because this mouse I've been wanting to get since in June has been sold out, and I finally to have it. But then now when these new mouses comes out, I said I gotta get. I really want to try those. I even called it that if Glory's gonna come out with a palm grip mouse, I'm gonna try. It. But overall, I think this mouse is great. It's awesome. I think I get ready. I'm gonna shock you guys. I think this this mouse is way much more comfortable than the G the Logitech G403 and pretty much the Vival 310. And pretty much, um, I would say it is those. Now the EC is another one, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let EC take that. I'm not gonna let this mouse take over the EC series because the EC, I think if the EC series have a way much better bug quality, it would be awesome. But honestly, if I had to go with the EC series or this mouse, I would go with this mouse over the EC series because of the bug quality. And pretty much, you know, you're gonna you're gonna feel like you spend a good amount of money on this mouse better because of the bug quality and all that stuff. So let's talk about the software aspect of this video. And let's go to part two, and I hope this video finds helpful. Any questions you already know to do, ask those questions down in the comment section. Let's get to the software. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Okay, so I have the software open up ready to go. 
and also I have the webcam right in front of me for you guys can see different types of lines and all that stuff and I'm sorry that the webcam picture is very small ever since um I had a new upgrade a new update from the Nvidia um, drivers and also the Nvidia experience it looks like they took off that option which kind of sucks which I gotta tweak a little bit and find out somewhere in the option maybe it is somewhere probably I did not pay attention so let's talk about the software so this is the Rocket Swarm software of course if you have a Rocket keyboard or the um, headsets or another mouse and it alone it is compatible with the Rocket Swarm software it will be ready to go now I do want to give you guys a heads up. Now, the only time it crashes, and this is a stupid thing, I'm going to admit, I try to always fine tune my sensitivity as well, my lift off distance, and don't do this because probably it will crash. For me, it crashes on me, but so far so good. It doesn't crash on me like right now. The only time it really crashes on me is that when I'm playing Call of Duty or I'm playing Battlefield 5 and I open up the software and of course it doesn't respond so it crashes so I have to reopen up again. So of course you can adjust your um, vertical scroll speed, your horizontal tilt speed and your double click speed as well which I leave that alone and especially I don't mess around with the Windows pointer speed. You want to leave it at 6. That's my opinion. Now, of course, you got different button, buttons assignments, and also it comes with the easy shift, which adds another duplicated buttons as well. So this is really good for somebody who likes to do like productivity work, maybe likes to do video editing, or maybe music editing, or basically Photoshop as well. This would be really good. You got up to five profiles, and the good thing about, I kind of wish you could add unlimited profiles. That way you can add, you know, a few for games. It just kind of sucks. You're only limited to five profiles, which is still good because you can still assign some games and um, program the buttons in that mouse. So when that time, when that game launch or that application launch, it right away load up those um, profiles and all that stuff that you have those buttons assignments and lighting effects and all that stuff. So illumination. So of course your options are course the rock cat own lighting technology which is really nice you got wave you got heartbeat i'm gonna do that one by one so let's do that i'm gonna hit and a good thing about it as well you can hit auto apply but you can also turn that off if you want to me i just leave it auto apply for that way you can leave it alone so this is heartbeat and you can also adjust the speed and the brightness as well and let's move on to breathing effects of course you already know that ready and you can also adjust the speed and the brightness as well and last thing is blinking. And the other thing, I'll show you the wave. So it just changes to different colors. As you see, it just go cycle the colors and all that stuff, which it looks nice. And of course, the animal um, lighting system technology as well. So I never tried that, I never dig into the deep, but let's put it back the way I want it as it was. Hold on, let me customize it again. Let me put it back in red. I want this one in white. Let me change it up a bit. And that's it. And of course, my favorite part of this software of about this is the lift off distance. Um, of course, you got pulling rate from 125, 250, 500, and 1,000. And of course, my favorite thing is the lift off distance, which is very low and low, and you can customize it. So basically, when you calibrate, and you move your mouse around when it's checking what would be the best um, optimization or the best performance it can give you with the mouse pad that you got. And that way it'll just the lift off distance there for you if you want. But for me, I keep it very low. And of course, you got zero debound as well. Leave that off. And you can reset your setting back from the factory. Angle snapping as well, but you leave that off as well. And also, it's kind of crazy if you are... If you own a Rockat um, software before, if you remember the guy, that, that crazy guy voice, that's the first time I went with Rockat mouse, it scared the crap out of me. Um, you can do that as well. It will tell you bottom up, bottom down when you change your profile and also it will tell you to change your DPI. Another neat feature as well, you got the LED timeout as well. You can turn that off completely. Me, I have it default as it is. After 15 minutes, it goes off. And I will tell you a funny story. I thought my mouse died. When I saw no lights going on, but then we move the mouse. I said, "Oh, it also has a, you know, a sleep effect to maybe give the LED some rest, or maybe who knows." But overall, I think the software is great. And I forgot to mention, you can go to on your profile manager as well and add stuff there as well. But again, you only got up to uh, 
oh wow you can even store more profiles there so this is your onboard i do apologize but you can store more stuff over there oh my god i apologize for that it looks like you can add more stuff right here if you want to and also your macro managers as well which is nice and it also has games already there ready to go so there you go so that's it ladies and gentlemen i hope you find this video helpful as always, comment, subscribe, please be safe. Any questions, you already know what to do. Answer those questions down in the comment section, and we'll answer them as soon as possible. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. I'm sorry. Cough, cough, Friday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and goodbye.